This is according to opposition-nominated commissioner at the Guyana Elections Commission, says Gunraj, following the weekly statutory meeting on Tuesday. I believe that the full list of polling stations will be released to us tomorrow, and I will leave gazetted shortly thereafter. What I can also say to you in that regard is that the chief elections officer has promised that an updated version of the query that is currently on the website, that is to say, uh, to the query to the official list of electors which determines whether you are on the uh, OLE or not, it will be updated to show your polling station as well shortly. So within a matter of days, that should be on the website. While he could not give a specific day, Commissioner Gunraj did note, however, that it will be within the week. To give you a specific time and date, I can't, but I'm hoping before the end of the week it will be done. But what I can say is that within a matter of days, that uh, information in relation to where you will be voting vis-a-vis -vis, uh, your presence on the list will be made live on the website. GCOM has approved some 2,352 locations for polling stations, including private residences, a slight increase from the 2,299 used in 2015. The election secretariat is now preparing for the disciplined services to vote on February 21. In fact, 10,226 ballots were extracted when they arrived last week and are currently being enveloped for D-Day. Additionally, eight or three ballots were sent on Monday to the various Guyanese missions overseas so that they can cast their votes and return their ballots before March 2nd. Reporting for the Evening News, Fanu Manikchand.